If you dumped out a lava lamp- He is poured, way too close to that lava. In real lava, the glass would just instantly shatter. All right, he's that close to that much lava. He might as well be inside of a reactor containment structure post meltdown. He's not making it out of that. Though they are right about the lava lamp shattering, lava's over 1200 degrees Celsius, which is more than twice the temperature where ordinary glass would soften, so yeah. Instead, you would need to carve the jar out of solid sapphire just to withstand the heat. Yes, yeah, sapphire can survive up to 2000 Celsius, but lava is also chemically reactive. Even sapphire would eventually crack due to thermal cycling and corrosion, which are two main things we look at in the long-term operation of nuclear power plants. And to avoid the water turning to steam, you would need to float the lava in molten glass. So lava plus water creates an instant steam explosion. There's no way to float lava in molten glass safely. Both are silicates and are going to mix. It's a bit like saying you could liquefy uranium somehow and store your spent fuel in there to prevent boiling. It's just not going to work. But since the heat would make them both glow, you wouldn't be able to tell them apart. They would glow, but molten glass is uniform. Lava is not. And without a heat source, the lamp would start cooling quickly. You got a big heat source behind you, buddy. Meaning in just a few minutes, your lava lamp would just be a rock in a jar. He's right that lava does cool 